Coretta Scott King was born on April 27, 1927, in Alabama. She was the third child of her parents, Obadiah King and Bernice McMurray King. She had two elder sisters, Edith and Eunice, and a younger brother, Obadiah Leonard. The Kings owned a farm and were financially better placed than the other African-American families of the area. King's father was one of the first black people to own a vehicle. In order to support her family's income, King started working on the farm from an early age. She attended the Lincoln Normal School. The school was 14 kilometers from their home, but it was the closest school that allowed black children. King graduated in 1945. She was a talented singer, which made her the leading soprano of the school choir. After graduation, King attended Antioch College in Ohio. Although the college allowed non-white students, King was among the handful of black students to study there. Racial discrimination toward colored students urged her to become active in the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Later, she won a scholarship to the New England Conservatory of Music in Boston. Who was Coretta Scott King? Coretta Scott King was an American civil rights activist and the wife of Martin Luther King Jr., who headed the American civil rights struggle. King was an advocate of nonviolence and women's rights. She was actively involved in the civil rights movement with her husband. King grew up in a middle-class African-American family. While in school, she faced several hardships due to the social system, which did not allow colored children to mingle with the whites. Being a victim of racial discrimination forced King to become active in anti-racist movements. She was a talented singer and wanted to build a career in music. Her marriage to Martin Luther King Jr. changed the course of her life. She worked hand in hand with her husband to secure equal rights for the African American people. She was against the idea of men leading the civil rights struggle and tried to gather more female support. Following her husband's assassination, King was required to take over the reins of the movement started by him. She broadened the scope of her work to include LGBT rights, world peace, and several other causes. King established an organization named after her husband to spread the message of nonviolent social change. As a result of her relentless campaigns, King Jr.'s birthday was declared a national holiday. King openly criticized the system of apartheid. She is fondly remembered as the first lady of the civil rights movement.